chat about adversity, mindset, obstacles, hurdles, things that are in your way. How do you break through that? The mental toughness and, you know, how appropriate hanging out here on the railroad tracks uh, with these abandoned trains. Gets it like real edgy, right? It's real powerful. Um, actually, no. I just wanted to come out here for a walk and take some photos and I just ended up here and then I was inspired. So I want to be really short and sweet with this one. I hope I can be. So the adversity and the mindset and also the people that we learn from. The people that we learn from can come from all kinds of backgrounds, shapes and sizes, age ranges. And so the mindset, the adversity, that's a big piece and being open to who we learn from. And in this particular case, I learned from my son, Declan. And so we all have a breaking point. I've got this bravado, I've got this confidence, I've got this hustle, I've got this drive. But as human beings, we all literally have a point where things break. And in his situation, his right arm, both his radius and ulna, were broken. And so this happened a couple of weeks ago. I actually talked about it in one of my other videos. And what I'm learning from this is that the adversity and the mindset is very important even at a very young age and teaching that but also being a like receptive to like how he's feeling and what's going on with him and i've actually had people ask me like how he's doing like oh my gosh this must be so like overwhelming for him this this must have totally just destroyed his entire summer and you know what's what's it mean for his soccer career because this was a really bad fracture. And we were met with a lot of obstacles as far as like at a crossroads. Do we do surgery? Is this something that we can kind of manage and just like x-ray like every week? And, you know, we'll put a hard cast on it. And then like, do we have to like manipulate that cast in a way uh, the next week because things aren't healing the way that they should be? Like we're taking a risk, um, but it's a calculated risk and his health and safety are paramount. Um, but his mindset, his positivity, his fluidity throughout everything has been so inspiring because we get overwhelmed by the fact that we're presented with all of these situations, like all of these scenarios. Um, but ultimately, you know, we, we kind of we check the pulse on things, like how's he feeling? You know, regardless of what the research is saying, like, you know, what is our gut saying about this? And so for right now, no surgery. Um, Unfortunately, his summer just started and he's limited by that by that whole thing, but but he's not limited because he's continuing to get out there. He's playing it safe. He's taking care of his body. He's making good choices, but he's still kind of getting back in this game, so to speak. And when that cast comes off, then he'll rehab and then he'll get back into his soccer game. Um, but I don't want this to, to be about like broken bones, but it could be about like your own health and wellness because that is paramount for you to have like that adversity, that drive, and those could be obstacles for you to sustain whatever it is that you're doing creatively, professionally, personally, uh, all of those things. But that's what I really want to make it about. Not, not just the health and safety, but just the obstacles, the adversity, and like who we get our inspiration from. Like where do we get our inspiration from to continue to move forward? Because these obstacles will continue to be put up, whether they're self-imposed or whether they are just environmental or life changes. They will happen. It's just going to happen. And all I can say is that you may not always be ready for them and you may not always be able to pivot immediately, but to some degree and at some point, to some extent, you're going to have to figure out a way to pivot. And, and, and a lot of times it starts with your mindset. A lot of times it does. It starts right up here and right in here so that you can get enough gumption, to get enough power, to get enough motivation, to get enough confidence or whatever it is so that you can put one foot in front of the other. And like I said, our son is modeling this right now. And he's a child and yes, he will heal. But I want to be very specific when I talk about him being a child. As adults, we kind of lose a lot of that. We get so jaded, we get so like linear thinking. And one of the things that I'm learning from him is that the possibilities are like unlimited. Yes, there is, there are obstacles in front of me, but there's so many other possibilities out there. There's so many things that I can do. There's so many ways that I can actually look at this and approach it and do it differently um, and, and still live and still exist and, and still actually thrive. So just wherever you get your inspiration from, and it could be a kid, it could be someone that's much, much older than you. It could be from someone that you don't even expect. But like I was saying, obstacles will be there. Hurdles will be there, self-imposed or not. Where I want to take it 
First off, thanks to my son for the inspiration. Thanks to you for following my story. And I certainly hope that your health and wellness is in check and dialed in and things are well. But essentially, you just, you gotta go with it. You gotta be able to pivot. You gotta be able to get strong here. You gotta be able to get strong in here so that you'll move forward. Short and sweet, I hope. If you found it inspiring, found it entertaining, be sure to hit that like button. If you wanna stay tuned to my life, my business, and everything that I'm doing, be sure to subscribe. Be kind, keep rocking faces, do things that matter. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.